Hi, my name is Travis Quick, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. I'm excited to show off some of the new enhancements with the 3D Experience 2022 FDO3 release, and we've got some great content to cover. One of the new items is the Welcome app. For new users running the 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS app, this will be one of the first things that welcomes you to the platform. From this app, we can install SOLIDWORKS Connected without having to access the compass open apps directly or from an existing dashboard or tab, aiding in locating common tools. The Learning Center section has a lot of great videos to help you boost your experience, and the Public Community section contains many great resources. With all this content right at your fingertips, getting comfortable with the platform and its capabilities just got a whole lot easier. This app is available to all, even if you're an existing user and can be opened from your list of apps or added to a new or existing dashboard. The app currently only supports 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS, but we expect the addition of the Design with SOLIDWORKS role being added to this in a future update. On the topic of updates and installations, Java has been removed from the installation steps for both 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS and Design with SOLIDWORKS, simplifying your involvement for all future installs. Next. I wanted to talk about some of the updates to the user interface in general. First, we can now create a default bookmark to save our files to. This works great if you're working on a particular project or data set and you wanted all of your content to go to that one bookmark. We can set our bookmark and forget it for that particular project. All files will be saved to that bookmark folder. Improvements have been made to the local cache tab within SOLIDWORKS. Columns can now be sorted, simplifying our file organization. And once we locate our file, we can now drag and drop that file directly into SOLIDWORKS to open. Files that have been opened are easily identified in this list as they are now colored blue. Within the 3D Experience My Session tab, progress has been made to standardize how information is displayed across SOLIDWORKS and the 3D Experience. The plus icon that indicated we did not have the latest revision has been replaced by a red X. If you do have the latest revision, that's going to be a green check. This is not to say that the file in question is out of date. That is still identified by the status column, but instead that a newer revision exists on the platform. The data exchange utility has only been a part of our lives since FDO2, but I'm happy to report that it now supports drawings. When exporting a package, Simply select individual or multiple files, and then select the Add Drawings button. Drawings do not need to be previously cached for them to be included in the package. For easier shareability, the export package now syncs directly with 3D Drive, making it easier than ever to provide to external sources using the Share with Link option. Platform tools have also seen some impressive updates in the latest release. 3D Product Architect now offers the ability to export packages of data without having SOLIDWORKS open. Within the Product Structure Editor app, there is a new Export As feature with the capability to export parts, assemblies, and drawings for an entire product structure. Again, without ever opening SOLIDWORKS. This will export a zip file that can then be provided to external sources. In addition to this, the CAD Data Processor Monitoring app is used to monitor the packages that get exported. Currently, this does require a license of Design with SOLIDWORKS or SOLIDWORKS Connected to be assigned to the user. We understand that some of you may not yet have a 3D Product Architect role. We do expect to see this functionality added to the Product Structure Explorer app, part of the Collaborative Industry Innovator role, in the near future. So stay tuned. Another platform role that has seen some updates is the 3D Sculptor and the X-Shape app. Now, when adding new elements, we can immediately specify a bounding box in the X, Y, and Z directions to start our design in the appropriate scale. When you're finished pushing and pulling your design and need more prismatic features, many of the common X-Design features have been added to X-Shape, reducing the time necessary to switch back and forth between apps to add patterns, cuts, or bosses. Finally, the enhancement we've all been waiting for. 
3D Experience SOLIDWORKS now supports an offline mode. For all your wandering and offline needs, you can now do your designs at the cabin, the beach, anywhere you do not have internet access. Once you've connected to the platform using 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS, make sure you lock and open any files that you're going to need access to before going offline. Simply click on your button in the top right and select Work Offline. Then you'll have up to 30 days to work without being connected. When in offline mode, we'll have access to our local cache tab, but the 3D Experience tab will not be available. Also, make sure you've added the SOLIDWORKS shortcut to your desktop, because you're not going to be able to launch SOLIDWORKS from your browser if you do not have internet access. Once you've returned to the cloud, simply click the globe icon and reconnect to the platform. That's it for this update. For more information on the new enhancements for 3D Experience 2022 FDO3, be sure to check out the What's New post on the 3D Experience user community on the public platform. I've included a link just for you. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for all the new 3D Experience updates and new releases. Man, with this new offline mode, I'm excited to finally 